and just speaking to the Okay. The weather is getting cold day by day. Yes. Yeah. Are you happy? No. no. <laughs> Are you happy? No? Today you're tired? Yes. Why? I don't know. <laughs> you don't know why you're tired? Yes. That is terrible. I think uh, because of school, maybe. No. There is no school. school is Over. No. Free On a break, okay. Yes. I see. That's okay. Maybe you're... Uh, Mentally tired. Yes, Possible, right? Mm -hmm. And you, how are you doing today? <laughs> how are you today? Good. And jo you? Just good. <laughs> how? Still uh, alive. Still alive. Yes, thank you very much. And, uh, and how are you? I'm fine. Just fine? Yes, good. Good. Thank you. So, I want to open a kind of topic today. Hmm. Water. This one. Ready for the question? Really? You look tired today. Yes. Why? Work. Working. Yes. Nice. How much water do you drink every day? Two, two liters. Yes. Do you think that two liters uh, is enough for you? Yes. Really? Okay. I mean, there, there was a kind of measurement. Forget, forget, forget about it. Uh, okay, two liters of water. Yes. I see. Good. And how about you? One liter. One liter? Do you think that is enough? Yes. Really? That is interesting. And you, how much water do you drink every day? I don't know. Maybe two liters. Maybe two liters. Yes. I see. Okay. And you, how much water do you drink? One liter. One liter. Two, one, two, one. Hmm? <laughs> I see. Okay. Um, so, do you remember how many glasses of glass, I mean, big glasses of water, should people drink every day? I mean, how many glasses of water is two liters? Understand? Yeah. No? How many glasses, yes. you know, glasses of water, for example, two, four, five glasses, is two liters? Four glasses. Really? Uh, so every day you minimum drink four glasses, maybe more. Uh, eight glasses. Yes. Eight glasses. Yes. yes. Okay. <clears throat> Because water is very important for our metabolism and our activities and everything. How about you? Four glasses. Four glasses of water. Eight, four. Eight, four. How many glasses? Eight? Eight. Eight. Okay, you? Four glasses. Yes. That is interesting. And how long can you live without drinking water? How long can you live without drinking water? One day, two days, three days.
Two days. Two days. Two days. Two days. I don't know. I think uh, like three days I heard. Mm -hmm. Maximum three days you can survive. After that, say goodbye. Mm -hmm. You? How many? How long can you go? You agree with me. Two. 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 Two days. Is it three? Pardon, three days. Three days, <laughs> I see. Okay. You? How long can you go? Five hours. Five hours? After five hours? Hospital. Yes, yes, you think. Okay, good. How long can you go? One day. One day. That is very short. You motivated your, your classmates to come? Ah, you motivated. That's nice. And uh, <clears throat> another question. Can you swim? Swim, you know, yes. swim. I mean, professionally or amateur or semi-professional? I can. Yes, I can. I can swim. Yes. I can swim professionally. Really? Like a kind of athlete? No. But professional means you have some medals, you know, or prizes. <laughs> no? no medals. Mm -hmm. uh, I can. Uh, I think. Um, I can be a good student. Ah, you think that you are a good swimmer? Yes. I see. Okay, that's possible. And, and how are you today? Fine. Just fine? You look tired. Yes. I see. Uh, tired but fine. Tired but fine. Yeah, we can say that. How about you? Are you a good swimmer or you're not? I can't swim. I can't. I can't swim. swim. You know, in English grammar, if there is a kind of model, for example, can, could, may, might, should, would, must, this kind of words in the sentence, your verb should be normal. No ing, no s, no es, no ed. Okay? So, I can swim. You can swim. He, she, it can swim. We can swim. Because of that model, okay? You will learn in, I think, A2 level. But that's okay. Uh, you? Can you swim? I can swim, but I'm afraid of swimming. So you can swim in the pool, most probably. So inside the pools, you are okay? Yes. In the sea, not okay. Have you tried before? Yes. Where? Uh, Antalya. Yes. Really? Yes. Was that dangerous? I think dangerous. Yeah. Possible. Possible. Okay, you? Are you a good swimmer? Yes. Really? Yes. Like professional? Yeah, no. Just a swimmer? Yes. Okay. And? Yes, amateur. 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 Okay. Amateur swimmer. Like try help, help like that? No. <laughs> okay. uh, how often do you go swimming? Do you know how often? Yes. So how can you answer this question? If somebody says how often, how can you answer this question? Every summer, I go swimming. Yes. Where? Kerebra. Where is it? In Istanbul. Istanbul? Yes. That's interesting. Okay, possible. And how long can you, how long do you go swimming? I'm not sure. 
You don't try? Yes, you told us that you are not a swimmer and you are afraid of water. Correct? Don't yes, yes. I see. Like a normal fright? I mean, are you a... Do you... Do you uh, how can I explain that? How can I ask this question easily? Do you have a phobia? Or just you say, because I cannot swim, so I don't swim. Phobia. Okay, phobia. I see. Okay, uh, possible. It can be. Generally, phobias um, <clears throat> are related to trauma. I think, in my opinion, phobias are related to trauma. Specifically, when we were kids, child, most probably. Uh, generally, imagine, for example, somebody is uh, uh, scaring you by, how can I say, throwing a spider at you. Oh my God. Then you have a phobia from spider, of the spiders. And this phobia will go maybe for, for many, many years. Most probably, or any, any other thing. Some people have phobia of cat, even cat. I mean, whenever they see cat, you know, they go crazy. Why? Trauma. Do you know trauma? Yes? No. You don't know? It is not related to trauma? Maybe when you were a kid? No, I don't see how it can. Okay. Maybe I said. Okay. You? <coughs> is that delicious? You drink water like you're drinking orange juice or something. You know, like this. Nice. Once a year. Once a year? Yes, with my family. With your family. Where do you go to swim? It's changing. Generally? Generally, Antalya. Antalya. Yes. Do you like Antalya? No. <laughs> Why? Wow. Hmm. But your family force you to go to Antalya. I see. Okay. As you, do you, how often do you go swimming? Um, I can't go very often. I can't go very often. But as your friend said, for example, once in a year. Because uh, I go in summer. Summer. Generally in summer. Yes. What, uh, but not in other seasons. Maybe your friends can go uh, to swimming pools, maybe. Not just sea. Even swimming pool can be a kind of alternative for that. If you really like swimming, yeah? But you don't have time, you know? Nobody in Istanbul has time. Really? Go out on the street, say, excuse me, yes, do you have time? No. <laughs> Generally, everybody would say no. I can understand it. Okay, pass. And how often do you go? In summer. In summer. Where? Where do you go? Mula. Mula. It is uh, close to Antalya, right? Yes. Close. Yes. I see. No? This? No? Is that close or not? Yes. Is that near? Close. Yes, that's true. Okay. And... Can you guys, everybody, name some water sports? Okay, what else? There are some sports inside the 
water, fantastic, yeah, surfing, yeah. What else? There's scuba diving. Scuba diving. Scuba diving, yes, nice. Have you tried? No. Jumping, like Aquaman, right? <sighs> Go down. What else? You can use Google, maybe. I don't recall. I am not a Google. I am a person. But Google is AI, a computer. Rafting. Rafting, yes. yes. After all, white water rafting, generally. Water polo, maybe. Mm -hmm. What else? Jogging? Yeah. No, jogging is not inside the sea. No, I am searching. Uh... I mean, in, in the question it says name 10 water sports. We have already. Kayaking. Kayaking, yes, that's true. Rolling sports. Rolling. 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 I don't know that. I don't know. Carol? Canoeing. Yes, canoeing, yes. That's true. What's skiing? Water skiing, yes. Interesting, yeah. Lake Lake I don't know that. What is it? Do you know? Sorry? I don't know. I don't know that. Okay. That's enough. Now another question. Uh, you know, there are some countries, okay, in the world that they don't have clean water to drink, unfortunately. There are some countries that they don't have clean water to drink. That is a big problem, correct? Yeah. What are some ways we can help people get clean drinking water? How can we, I mean, make the water clean? How? Cleaning the sea. Cleaning the sea? What else? <clears throat> I said use your Telephone to Google it. Everybody using social media, you know, come on. <laughs> <laughs> you know, number one is I think we have to protect the nature. Yes, we must keep it clean. We must keep the nature clean. Yes. She said that uh, we have to clean the sea, correct? That is true, but I have a better solution for that. I think we have to teach people to clean, to keep the, the sea clean, rather than dirtying it, and later you have to go and clean it. I mean, prevention is better. We have to prevent the dirt, then everything looks good. Why should we make the environment dirty so later we have to clean them? That is terrible. I think we have to come to that mindset, perspective. Not to, I mean, dirty, 
the sea or the environment, the jungle, the nature, the, the street even, or public transportation, whatever, whatever. I mean, the classroom. We are using plastic things, unfortunately, and this is a big problem. Using plastic is the biggest problem, in my opinion. I have a water bottle, but I forgot to use it. I have to use, you know, water bottle rather than this plastic. For two reasons, maybe three reasons. Number one, to just say no to plastic. Number two, it is dangerous to my body, correct? You know, cancers, lots of problems. Number three, all of these plastics will go to the garbage. And in the garbage, can you understand? <laughs> Can't the face? Garbage. Uh, huh? Garbage. garbage. Uh, I try to speak very slowly and clearly and easily. I try to find easy words to make easy sentences. I try. Uh, so, we can stop this uh, problem. And also, and also, I think we should not waste water. Generally, people waste water. We are wasting it. For example, when you wash your hands, very easy question, very easy question, you go to the WC, you wash your hands, okay? How do you wash your hands? I mean, how do you use water? Very silly question, but very important question. You just open the tap, I mean, keep the tap running. No, I'm talking about the water. Uh, take the so soap. 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 Uh, close the water. Mhm. Mm mhm. And open the. Very good. How many people do that? What else? <laughs> yeah. Generally, we open. I mean, we keep the tap running. We wash, it is running, okay? I am not using the water, it is still running, okay? Then I use water, then I... This is, I mean, generally people do that, and this is a problem. Because we are wasting the water. As she said, <laughs> she's the youngest. <laughs> As she said, I mean, we have to open, okay? Use, close it, then do this. Imagine, you remember COVID at the beginning of the pandemic? Doctors said that I used to say you have to wash your hands for 21 seconds. Remember? 21 seconds. 21 seconds, the, the water is running. Yeah? Can you see? 21 seconds, the water is, is still running. Problem. Imagine that, let's say only Turkey, 80 million people. What is the population of the world? A couple of days ago, it is just over. 8 billion people, 8 billion people, 8 billion people are using water, so that is really tremendous amount of water, energy, we are saving energy, we are saving water, we are uh, doing lots of things, but unfortunately, how many people do that? I think that is not a, uh, how can I say? something that people should be offended. I think we have to explain this to people to understand. We have to teach. Teach to ourselves, then to our family. Not teach. I mean, remi I mean remind them. Make them remember. Really. But unfortunately, people say, come on. No, come on. Yes. Because uh, because we have to think about the future. If we go this way, the future is going to be very dark, in my opinion. Right? Yes or no? Yes. yes. That's true.
or we go to the bathroom, <laughs> you know, the water comes and we're singing a song, mini <laughs> concert, the water is running, you know. Yeah. Yes, of course. Now you can understand that how water is important. Because you have the water right now. Now it's starting a question from you. How many rivers does Turkey have? Help me. <laughs> Do you know river? What is river? How many rivers does Turkey have? How many, how many uh, rivers are there in Turkey? We don't know? 29? 29. 29 rivers. How many lakes? Lake. What is lake? Mm, how many? A hundred more. Okay. More than one hundred. I see. Okay, that is cool because we need these rivers and uh, how can I say? Uh, lakes. And how about your hometown? Does your hometown have a river or lake? No. No, there isn't. There is no. No. Okay. Do you know? No. You should know it. I mean, you don't know, but Google does. <laughs> there isn't. Where are you from? Okay. You? You? Istanbul? She's Istanbulian. Where are you from in Turkey? Uh, Is, sir? Adana. Adana. Yeah. You? Martin. You? Yeah. Good. So, uh, there isn't any river or lake in your hometown. There isn't in your hometown. Is there any in your hometown? Pass. Yeah. You? Is there? 58. 58? Lake. In your hometown? Uh, pardon. Uh, river. River. Uh, in your hometown? Yes. Really? Yeah. That's, that's really big. Tremendous. Malatya, you said, right? <laughs> Malatya. Malatya has got 58 rivers. Interesting. Okay. Uh, one sea and uh, three lake. One sea, three or three? Three or three? Three. Or maybe three. Which one? Okay, three. Okay, three um, rivers. Okay, I like that. And you? Uh, my hometown uh, have got, has got, has got uh, 45 rivers. 45 rivers. Yes. That's interesting. That's good. Now, another question. Ready for this question? Uh, <laughs> <coughs> Some questions are very difficult for a 1 and 2 level. Uh, yes, I mean the, the other questions are very difficult. You cannot maybe answer that because your level is not enough 
but it will, generally speaking. Uh, the point here is, I always say in uh, A1, A2, even B1, B2, you must improve your vocabulary. You have to learn lots of vocabulary because without vocabulary, you cannot make sentences, you cannot speak, you cannot write, even you cannot maybe understand. And also with, I mean, the best grammar, you can't. Grammar, grammar can uh, only make your English look standard. Grammar by its own cannot help you. If you have a wrong, I mean broken English, they say, because of, I mean, wrong grammar usage, that's, uh, maybe that is not a big problem. But if you learn lots of vocabulary, you know vocabulary? <laughs> <laughs> Do you know? What is vocabulary? Dictionary? No. Uh, vocabulary is? Words. Words. Yes. Group of words that you should know. For example, in my class, do you remember the Quizlet? You remember Quizlet in my class? Of course. Every unit has got, for example, let's say 30 vocabulary, 50, 60 vocabulary, a group of words. Through vocabulary, you can improve. You can be better. And then, okay, you can come to course, you can go to different locations and speak out with some other people and you learn, even you learn from each other. Because when you are listening to your friends inside the class, you are so careful about what your friends are saying, I mean, however they are saying or using the language, which words they are using, what type of grammar they are using, and you are starting to learn. This is uh, really interesting. And of course, this is book of topics. There are lots of topics inside it. Topics are just excuses for you to speak out. <laughs> okay? Just a, a kind of excuse for you to speak out. But if you don't have enough vocabulary, that is totally normal. What can you do to improve your vocabulary? Do you know? Is there any strategy that you can do? How can you improve your vocabulary? Uh, this is my figurative language notebook. Uh, figurative my language? Yes, my teacher. Figurative language. Do you study English literature? Uh, yes. Uh, my teacher... Uh, my teacher said take this and do this. And I do in words and I... What you call it? And I, uh, I explain words here that I write. Who is your teacher? My school teacher. Mm -hmm. I understand. Nice. One of the ways. One of the ways, yes. I mean, wherever you find some new vocabulary, you are basically writing them down on your, on your uh, how can I say, notebook and try to use dictionaries. What dictionaries do you use? My teacher. No. Dictionary is dictionary. Teacher cannot be a dictionary. Uh, the teacher, the teacher uh, himself or herself uses dictionary. Good morning. Otherwise, you have to use a dictionary. What type of dictionary do you use? There is a new word. Translate. How? Google Translate? How many people use Google Translate? One, two, three, four, five. Okay, what, I mean, what do you use? Turing. Turing, okay. That's cool. Turing is cool. I mean, uh, I always say for 
elementary level A1, A2, Turing, and even Google Translate, they can be good. But in B1 level, minimum. Or uh, B2 level and above, you must use English to English dictionary. Not now. English to, to English. For example, there is a word in English and explanation is also in English, no Turkish. And you must understand. In B1, B2. Okay? Right now, no problem. Turing or Google Translate. Do you know Turing? Yes. No. You know? Change. Definitely use that. Uh, what else? What is um, your strategy to improve your vocabulary? What else do you do to improve your vocabulary? Hmm? No studying? Do you study English every day? Or not every day? No? Impossible. Maybe. But you have to. This is very cliche. You know, cliche question, cliche answer. Somebody comes to you and says, Excuse me, yes. I am hungry. I am hungry. What should I do? I am hungry now. What should I do? Hmm? Yes. You should eat. Now, people say, Teacher, how can I improve my... English, you should study, not eat, of course, yeah, eat, drink, sleep. You should study, you should uh, practice. Uh, language courses can be good, but they are not enough. Even, even you go to, let's say, America, but if, if you do not use the language, you cannot improve. Go to America and speak Turkish. Impossible. You cannot improve English. Impossible. You have to speak out in English. You have to learn something. Uh, okay, right now you don't have the opportunity maybe to go to, to English-speaking countries, but you have technology. Everybody has a telephone. Everybody has, you know, internet. There are lots of applications. But my, my ideal platform for uh, improving myself or, I mean, students can be the YouTube itself. Why? Because it is real. You can just listen. And on YouTube, there is kind of subtitle. CC, closed caption. CC, you know, you click on that, subtitle opens. Take notes, listen, listen a lot. You must improve your listening. Because first somebody talks to you, you have to understand what does he or she say. If you cannot, if you don't understand, how can you answer? Good question. So you have to, you should definitely improve your, uh, your listening and vocabulary. There are lots of books, there are lots of, uh, again, applications, games. Uh, Netflix, how many people have Netflix? One, two, three, four, five. Everybody. Do you think that, wh why, why did you buy Netflix? Why? What is the reason for that? What? To improve your English? No. Hmm. Watching movies. Just watching movies. Yes. Okay, what else? Just have fun and watch movies? TV shows. 
Stranger Things. Eleven, huh? You? Why, why, why do you pay money for uh, Netflix? Why? What is the reason? It depends. It depends. On? Okay. Or TV shows. TV shows. Okay. And why? <clears throat> I want to improve my English. Yes. Okay. Do you think that Netflix is helpful? No. Mm -hmm. Why? You think yes. Okay, what did you learn from Netflix? Uh, not enough. Not enough? Yes. Okay, possible. I agree, but maybe it's... Uh, I think to improve uh, podcasts. Through podcasts? Yes. Which platform? Yeah, uh, Netflix. Okay, which platform? The economy. Oh, that is the name of the station. Yes. But where do you listen to? Like website or platform or application? Application. What is the name of the application? Podcast. Just podcast. Yes. I see. I understand. Possible. You know, uh, Netflix, because Netflix shows you uh, the real show i mean the show that let's say native speakers are are watching i mean of course it can be good but i don't recommend it to elementary level students generally i i recommend netflix to minimum b1 ideally b2 b2 level can have good relationship with Netflix in order to improve his or her English. A1, A2, no. A1, A2 must learn some basic grammar, basic vocabulary, must improve his or her listening and uh, motivate himself and self-confidence. Lots of people don't have self-confidence. You should improve that also. Which means you should use some other <coughs> strategies to improve yourself. My favorite strategy is short stories. There are PDFs, I mean classified short stories like, for example, let's say this is A1 level. Any kind of, I mean, short story. You just uh, try to read and you listen. There's a storyteller. The storyteller is telling the story and you're following it on the book. Easy to understand because it is your level, A1, A2. Then stop, take notes, as she is doing, for example, sometimes I can see. Take notes, then continue, listen. Okay, there's a new word, stop, look up dictionary. Turing, for example, or Google Translate, and write it down. Then next, next, next. Then after a month, you can see, oh, my notebook is finished. Good. I learned lots of vocabulary. And of course, you have to practice them. Just taking note is not enough. Taking note is the first step. Second step, you have to go back and, and study, review. Minimum every, every week. Ideally, every week. Minimum every month. Every month you have to go back to, what was that? <laughs> you have to go back to your notebook and study, review, make sentences. And step by step you improve. Is that delicious? <laughs> That's amazing, yes. Short stories and listening. Sometimes grammar, yes. Grammar, I mean broken grammar is 
okay, but no words, no vocabulary is not okay. Who? Do you have any questions from me? No? No. Why not? You should have millions of questions. Full of questions. <laughs> no question. You have a class now at 7 o'clock? Yes. Until 10. At 10 o'clock, metro bus. Hmm? Go home, sleep tomorrow, university, come back, go, come. Okay. That's enough for today. Take care of yourselves. See you next time. Take care. Okay, see you. Oh my god.